Hello fellow 1-6 scale figure collectors It's me back again with another video This time it's back onto the Hot Toys figures again And this time I'm going to show you the Iron Man Mark IV secret project From the Iron Man 2 line This wasn't a suit that he wore um, It's just an exclusive type piece I'll show you from head to toe and go into it in a bit more detail Okay, if you've got the Iron Man Mark IV figure from the movie, this figure is exactly the same, the only difference being uh, the colour of the suit. This was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, so instead of customary gold and red, this one's gunmetal grey and a very light coloured grey. Superb colour scheme. As you can see on the armour, he's still got the little chinks where he's been in, had a little bit of a battle. Exactly the same as the Mark IV red and gold version. It does have the arc reactor in the middle, which does light up. So too do his eyes and some of his hands. But as usual, I've taken the batteries out because of the leaking problem that can occur with these figures. Articulation wise, loads of articulation on this figure. Uh, the feet, the feet do actually articulate. Just about see it there a little bit. The ankles articulate, bends at the knees, bends around the hips. Obviously, the hands, the um, elbows, obviously, the shoulders, the neck. Also on this figure, um, I can't really show you it here, but on his waist, you can actually lift him up slightly. So his waist does extend, extend to give you a bit more in the posing way. The armour is exactly the same as the Mark IV, uh, gold and red version. You can take this breastplate off to show all the detail underneath. I'm a bit reluctant about doing that um, because they have been known to break these figures. They're very, very fragile. So I'm afraid I can't show you that. If you want to see it, there are other videos on the net that will show um, people doing this. But I say I don't want to break my figure. And I have opened up a few things for you so you can have a look. I'll come to those in a minute. Head sculpt, superb head sculpt on this figure. I will do a 360 on it. Overpriced, I think, for what it is. It's, it's exactly the same as the other Mark IV, just the colour. And because of that, they've upped the price. Comes with several different hands. Show you the hands that he's got on at the moment. These have articulated fingers. You can actually move them to however you want them and he has an arc reactor on the inside, you'll be able to see that on these other hands when I show you so he comes with two of those, he comes with two fisted hands so one there, one on that side and he also comes with two open palmed hands um, there's the arc reactor in the middle, that does light up plug it in, same again with the other hand and as I said, these articulated fingered hands, they do have the arc reactor as well. Comes with um, another attachment that you can add to this figure. If I show you here, all you have to do is take off some of his armour on his arms. You get a little special tool in the box that does, you can do that. Pull them off and you can show him with these. These are his rocket launchers. You just push them straight in, so you can have him with that look if you wish. You can have it on both sides. A little bit fiddly to do, but worth it in the end. 
He also comes with an extra head sculpt. If you don't wish to show him with his mask on, he comes with the Tony Stark head sculpt. Show you it down here so it can focus a bit better. There you go. Excellent head sculpt on this. Does look like Robert Downey Jr. So it's the same head sculpt as the other Mark IV figure. Uh, but the only difference being, instead of the red glasses, this has got the grey rimmed glasses. And this neck piece is what you put the, push the head through to push it into the neck so it fits nice and snug. If I move him round on the back here I've opened this up already you can open up his flaps that's what it looks like closed and you just open the flaps up and you can see all the workings underneath you have to be very careful with these they do tend to break there's the switch on the back there for his light up features on his um, art reactor on his chest that's the switch for his eyes and just round here somewhere on his arm is another light switch for switching his hands on I believe no, no sorry the middle switch switch in the middle there switches on his arms as well moving on down his air brake flap does come up as well that's what it looks like closed and this is the open version so you can see all the workings underneath we'll try and get it to focus there you go great detail on that very easy to open and close just close these down nice and easy nice and snug but the joints are quite fragile so do be careful when doing this don't do it too often show you the detail of the suit from the back as you can see on his hip there these are his countermeasures that he fires if he's been if someone's fired a, a missile at him all you do is you twist it anti-clockwise twice and it pops out that's what it looks like closed and to put it back in you just twist it clockwise the other way and push it in there you go nice and easy the this part oh and it's popped out again I'll have to do that later this part here can restrict this coming out so you have to be careful with that you don't chip any paint when you do it still quite a few of these figures out there for sale I bought this one brand new they are quite expensive though for what they are obviously if you're a huge Iron Man fan and you want to collect all the figures you have to get this one I believe they are bringing out another exclusive version it's uh, going to be blue in colour um, I don't think I'll get that one I've seen pictures of it um, on the net and it doesn't look as good as this one I have got the Mark 7 on order from the Avengers movie just got my Nick Fury through today um, all I've got to do is just go and pick him up from the post office because I've got to pay the extortionate customs price uh, charge and as soon as I pick him up tomorrow I'll do a video on him tomorrow get that posted he does come with two stands this guy he's got the customary boring hot toys black stand and he also has this one a little bit different it does light up you put two some AA batteries in the bottom there and this part 
all the way round does light up nice detail on that uh, you can use this stand to make it look like he's flying because the pole um, there's the pole that goes in it it's quite long so you can get that flying pose and this is the part that you use to hold him with be careful when putting this on the figure though um, you don't want to rub it up against the paintwork too much because it will chip the paint off a lot of people have done that um, so sorry, sorry I couldn't give you a more sort of detailed look at the figure about moves and um, his chest plate coming off but I'm a bit reluctant to move his parts just in case things do break off as I said before doing this video now because I'm going to have to put this one away in the box um, to make room for my Nick Fury he will come out again at some point I will do a video on the gold and red Mark IV at some stage so he's exactly the same as this one does come with one extra accessory which is his donut I'll now give you a 360 does look really good up against War Machine so if you've got War Machine and you haven't got this guy putting them both together there's a nice detail on his feet putting them both together they do look superb that's how I showed him in my cabinet I do prefer this colour to the red and gold these are the only two Iron Men that I have at the moment um, I might get the Iron Man 2 Unleashed version at some stage because that look, does look like a superb figure as well from what I've seen on YouTube um, not too bothered about the other Iron Men that were released Iron Man 6 is a possibility Mark 6 purely for the battle damaged look but say I'm getting the Mark 7 I don't want too many Iron Men in my collection which is why I've just stuck with, in my opinion, the best two, the Mark IVs So until my next video I'm not sure what it's going to be, i say it'll probably be the Nick Fury tomorrow I might do another one this afternoon of another figure, not sure yet Uh, thanks for watching keep collecting and keep checking back for more videos catch you later